welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. Today, um, it's been requested in a live stream to do a showcase of uh, my current talent. And the current talent is uh, is quite quite nice in any case. So I'll just start with uh, with the the best of well the best of the best um, at uh, four star. So this is my four star roster, as you can see. Um, not a lot of changes. Be bearing in mind, last time I did a showcase video was back a month ago. Uh, people might be saying, "Well, we had one recently." No, it was a, it was a month ago. So a few things have changed. Uh, Scarlet Witch, you know, is now um, I've got the second time duplication set up to level 40 on her signature ability, which is really great. Yellow Jacket as well. I think it's gone up a bit. And Yellow Jacket is now up to rank 4. The same thing with Doctor Strange, he is now up to rank 4 as well. Um, Doctor Strange was one I had to get up to rank 4 um, to utilise him more as I'm progressing with Act 4. It's it's a good character to have in any case, especially at rank 4. If you do get that character, please look to rank him up. Hopefully they don't nerf him and Scarlet Witch because they're two you know, immense powerhouses within the game. Um, I'm very happy with the ones that I've got so far, and if I kind of look back to my other showcase videos when um, you know when I first started the game, uh, a lot of things have changed for me. So, you know what I can say to you guys that are going, "Oh, I wish I could have all these all these champions." Um, don't feel discouraged. It takes time. Um, the fact is, it's a grind, and I think a lot of people lose their way with regards to video games, in in that they they kind of think. Right, well, I've hit a stumbling block, I'm not kind of getting anything in particular at a very quick rate, so therefore um, I should give up said game, or I've gone too far too quickly, and therefore I burn myself out with the game, so it's all about pace. I must say at times, um, we we have felt over the years that Kabao haven't kind of given, given back to players an opportunity to get... Um, four stars, and I have been critical with the videos exposed, expose videos. But that is based on the fact that um, the game was very different back then, and um, you know I didn't really when I started off the game I didn't really know as much about you know uh, I'm in the beginner kind of level. Therefore, if I did arenas a lot more, then I'd have better champions as a start point, better four stars, which then would give me a better platform to then you know put more time into arenas because I'd be getting more points. Um, it's largely a learning curve and it, it's taken a while to kind of learn these things. So helpful things on Reddit, um, stuff, that, videos that I've done, uh, other YouTubers, um, Marvel Contest of Champions YouTubers, they do some great stuff to then give you an idea of, of how to get these champions and, and build up your roster by doing that. So one of the cool things was um, when I start the game, I getting three stars quite regularly uh, and now I'm quite happy with my three star roster um, starting from the top a lot of them are, are maxed out which is, which is great these ones here are all for ranking up and but I've got a lot of uh, that are maxed maxed out with regards to their uh, leveling up and ranking up so that's pretty cool really helps out with doing um, four star arena but <laughs> as the uh, the top dogs have more four stars than I then it is very difficult to get a you know a large amount of points in in one sitting, so to speak. So it takes a long time to grind still. Um, yeah, three stars are great in any case because you can really kind of if you don't have four stars with loads of kind of synergies, you know, um, synergy options when you're doing arenas or you're doing questing. Three stars are you know are great for that, especially if you're kind of starting off say act. Act two or Act three, um, having a decent amount of uh, of three star champions with all those synergies uh, together can really kind of give you a fantastic platform to then progress on to uh, to complete. Like I said, Act three, and there has been people that have completed um, Act three with three stars. So don't feel that you need it. It just means that maybe you'll change your masteries, uh, your playing style. Um, and I'm no way saying that I've got a brilliant playing style. I'm just kind of saying that don't feel discouraged there are other options uh, for yourself so i think i've got nearly every three star which is which is great when it comes to two stars and i've done a video on uh, utilizing your two stars to the best of your ability and also the best for time management uh, for getting that three star featured every week in the arenas or twice a week even 
so do check out that video and uh, I've got quite a few actually yeah I've got I've got all the two stars you you can get even the um, the very kind of exclusive ones which um, are, are Deadpool um, I think Captain America World War two is sort of sort of exclusive um, maybe he's not I, I can't can't remember I think it was I think I got him in a, like a Sony two star like crystal which was something special for the um, uh, an event recently I think Captain America's 75th uh, birthday so that's cool in any case right the final place to kind of go is uh, is the old five stars let's get that one there so I've got four five stars Storm, Spider-Man, Captain, Captain Marvel and Hawkeye um, when I got Hawkeye I did explain I had to put in a comment because I think not people were getting the fact that um, I recorded the video prior to the update where he, his abilities weren't very good against willpower being a very popular mastery. As the game has changed it has meant that we've got some fantastic masteries coming in and I will be changing my mastery setup to have deep wounds, despair, assassination, assassinate even. Uh, great abilities that will mean that Hawkeye, um, Spider-Man, you know, a lot, of, a lot of characters will, will kind of be more really playable, really decent. Um, I really would have liked a duplication on my uh, well, Awaken, the ability of Captain Marvel, um, but um, you know the uh, uh, the five star Prem Crystal uh, gods were not shining above me for that one. However, I think in future I may do one 15k uh, event featurey crystally doodah. Um, and it's, the problem is it's 15,000 points. I kind of warrant that against getting something that may be featured. Um, I don't know. I prefer, prefer something that maybe um, was was awakened, but you know, you, you, you just you just can't get what you want in in life. It's all a game of chance. Um, but uh, I'm happy to get him in any case. Um, Hawkeye, I, I will probably have to rank up, but I chose my rank ups for duped four stars, and hmm, I'll be probably doing symbiote Spider-Man next or Rocket Raccoon. I uh, haven't decided, but still. Um, my future plans for the game is continue as I'm going on now, grind through, and uh, hopefully get some more four-star dupes, um, continue on with Alliance Wars, change my masteries, and hopefully get some really decent characters going forward. We've got still some, some characters coming from uh, Mutant roster. I'm still gutted to not get anything like Nightcrawler. I really wanted Nightcrawler or Beast, and... Um, I've been let down by the good gods at Kaboom! They uh, couldn't give me the luck for that one. But anyway, positives are that um, I'm still... What am I? Two years and six months. At the point of recording this video, two years and six months playing the game. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's all right. There's been some big changes, and it's alienated a lot of people. There's been stuff that's um, it's managed to segregate people into um, different kind of points where, say, your top dogs are going for your, your top stuff. You know, you've got your like Legends Arena, you got your Map Six. Um, it's kind of segregated, but Kabam still haven't worked out little inner workings with regards to costings for things, value of things, uh, cost of units still still too high when you compare it with other games and um, I really feel they could be doing a lot better you know advertisements um, working with uh, with youtubers working with uh, digital marketers um, they make and also taking opinion polls from you guys they're the public um, as a as a consumer I have the I've kind of like I have my rights but at the same same time you know uh, the reason that people want refunds on the stuff that they buy into the game is largely based on the fact that um, the delivery for stuff from Kabam has not been sufficient and that's why you guys as a consumer get so wound up that you don't feel that you're being listened to and hopefully that things will change in the future but um, you know we're, we're in, it, in this game to the bitter end or lager end but anyway thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it do feel free to take Thor's hammer and smash it down on that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Good day and God bless. Hi guys, Rich the Man here and I'm just falling out of a tree. Uh, thank you for watching that video. And remember to like, subscribe and catch one of my live streams. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Someone call an ambulance for God's sake.